Hi guys, Haunted the Truth again with another podcast and uh, Danny's decided to join us on this one. Um, we are going to be discussing the back rooms, dimensional spaces, ghost dimension, mirror verse. Gibberish to me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, um, it's interesting, don't get me wrong, but uh, I think there's a lot to talk about. I think you've just mentioned a few, fair few things there, which it's going to be quite hard to cover, to be <laughs> so honest. This video is going to be four hours long, no, it's yeah. not. <laughs> it could all be nonsense. Well, the, here's the thing. For those of you who have never heard of any of this, we're focused mainly on the back rooms. The back rooms, um, I believe, was something that was originally the concept came up on Reddit. I know it's not a very good source, but um, a recent video came out. I believe it's a student or somebody that's made a video based on the concept of the back rooms, and it really started to get me thinking. So essentially, it's like the space between spaces yeah. it's really hard to describe so if you if you play video games for example and sometimes you fall through the floor you're no longer technically in the game but you are in the game you're just in that space between the game and the game itself and some people believe that that is something that's actually in life like around us all the time you're kind of thinking like a multiverse kind of like the yeah in a, in a sense yeah um but more something that we can directly um be involved with like something that can actually in in whatever way it can somehow interact with us like to me it's it's it's, it's a lot it's a lot to to process in your brain and that's when i said to you is it like purgatory because that's existence between this plane and the spiritual plane so and it's kind of like a limbo so mm. is it, if you could sum it up into one that's what i see it as it is and that's what a lot of people who are um, belief have got the belief system in ghosts and the afterlife that would be me. Um, they believe that the hauntings that we investigate they believe that those spirits are within that midway Can't point I believe there's got to be something else because one how did we get here you know like you said about space how like everyone say oh it's expanded into nothing but it can't be expanded into nothing it's got to be expanded into something because otherwise it wouldn't be expanding at all it wouldn't be able to expand because there would be no way for it to expand into nothing. If we're going back to like ancient times as well, like ancient yeah, yeah, Egyptians yeah. and stuff like that, some of them actually had areas and there's this belief that there's areas on the planet where they used to go to them and they used to open up like a portal or a realm there's, there's and there would be doorways and things would come through them yeah. and now you can go to these places and it doesn't happen. So, you know, scientists will turn around and say, well, it's a load of old cobblers because, you know, it's tried and tested. We can't open up a Yeah, but the proof is portal. there, mate. The proof is the fact that, you know, many years ago we had no way of communicating. You know, how the hell do we all have the same common belief in something? The word God, the word ghosts is all a common belief even though we never had no way of communicating with each other how is that possible i think it's the human understanding of trying to interpret it in a way that only they can understand obviously i don't know the direct translations of their words comparative to ours mm. we, we might just be translating it as ghosts but they might have called yeah. it something else mm -hmm. but what i do believe based on what we've seen and what you've seen from our shows and episodes and such mm -hmm. is that there has to be something within a space that we cannot see that is somehow coming into our space to chuck something or to run at us yeah. and that may be a ghost it may be something else it could be you know it could be some sort of inter interdimensional being but I don't want to go too far down that route it's more of a this is more just like chucking out mm. ideas would you know I was, when you was explaining all that, I was thinking more along like the Native Indians. They believed in the spiritual plane for thousands of years. It's definitely something going on, and we've we've actually encountered bizarre, yeah. bizarre yeah. things yeah, like yeah, photographs of like like where Josh Josh in one of the photographs, and you just get to see this. His leg, and I, we've mentioned this before, but he is standing still, having a a wee against a tree, a and. Chris takes a photo of him, who's also standing still, and his left leg is gone. His short's still there, mm -hmm. but his left leg is gone. Yeah, the gone. short's still hanging, like my leg's still in them. Do you know what I mean? They're still, but me, me shoe's gone, me leg's gone, and that it's, is really weird. That's in Snuff Mill. Is that area, I was getting the EMF spike, so there's a link between electromagnetism and whatever this is. 
personally you were talking about the dead being able to go into this place and be trapped but i think the theory of the back rooms is at any point at any time you could go into this place yeah. mm. am i right by saying that yeah. and the evidence is very very hard it's hard to prove the evidence isn't there but the things we've witnessed and on our channel if you go onto our channel watch the videos and watch them back there are things that don't make sense that does point into this direction should i tell them the story should i explain it um yeah obviously without naming the individuals yeah yeah, yeah. so um it was at a place called Barragurney and um, there was an individual that I was with, with a group of people and uh, this individual person, who I can't name, said there was a vortex of energy that circulates around the building and he said if you can find that location you can feel the energy so strong that it affects you and makes you feel ill. So it was at this point we were in this corridor and we're walking down and I am with three other people and I take three pictures all consecutively after another. The first image he's there walking and then in the second image he's completely gone and in the third picture he's completely back again. What he did say was in that moment in time he felt overpowered with something that he couldn't comprehend. and. Uh, even for a split second, his life was non-existent. It's pretty, it is a pretty scary thought to, to think. And a lot of people, like, um, I think I read somewhere, like these back rooms, they don't have to comply to our time, as we know it, like space time, as we know it. So some people suggest that, you know, if you end up going into them, you, your time is completely different. So you could be in there for three hours, but if you end up coming back, it's only been two seconds. That's right, yeah. And like the Bermuda Triangle thing. Yes, yeah. like the Bermuda Triangle. There's supposed to be like another five or six out in the oceans or points on the earth of these three points. Um, radio interference and compasses don't work and all that kind of stuff. Well, that's weird, that's weird, Josh. Hold the thought, but that's weird that you say that these things, like it starts messing with electronics. What happens to us? All the time, yeah. all the time, yeah, yeah. So batteries will drain instantly, um, and usually that's an indication that something is going to build up and happen. So we prepare for that. I would say take extra batteries, definitely. If you're going to go on a a ghost hunt, did you just hear that? Then something just got chucked at us. I don't know where that was, but it was felt like something just got through. Is there a chance that where the trees are blown so much that yeah, a branch, a branch yeah. fell? Could be, could be. Do you think that, so for argument's sake, that we're on to something here and this is real and there is some sort of breach somehow, yeah. do you think that what we're doing is dangerous? Perhaps it's not meant to be yeah. found. We're not meant to um, know, Because the actual interdimensional, I don't know a lot about it, so you'll have to bear with me, but a lot of the interdimensional or the different planes or whatever you want to call it aren't supposed to interact they're supposed to be separate for a reason it defies the laws of physics exactly. anyway and it can mess up each other's different timelines or whatever you the technical term is is for it it could it could cause an influx and mess up the old the whole cor course of, of the natural yeah. order of things because yeah. it's quite scary to mess with if you yeah. think about it like when it comes to like us i think one, as a species, we've lost of a lot of our, like, um, instincts and our senses. Like, our eyes have got worse since we don't hunt anymore. And I think, as a species, we probably, maybe like that, we've lost all of our spiritualism. So, you know, like, dogs seem to see stuff all the time and have these senses and they know stuff's there. You don't just say, in relation to pets, they also say children, children yeah. as yeah. well that they have an ability to sense these things and see these things as well as kids kids can see things and you know my little brother toby he was well, when he was really young he was always looking at stuff and on the ceiling and stuff and we were like what the hell is that and he was proper like looking at stuff and we're supposed to lose that when we get older because we you know we get corrupted and we don't see so innocently anymore. The, the other thing, going back into like the being able to go into these spaces and times and stuff, it's been, it has been displayed in uh, many horror films, uh, Poltergeist, yes. um, where you know you've got the entrance and the exit, 
Um, I believe it's in sin it, is it sinister or sinister with the yeah, when with he the falls asleep and he goes into that weird, weird space. Man. That 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 again is like yeah. very much that's very backrooms dimensional type thing. <laughs> Other people say we can actually communicate into these worlds through uh, static electricity, uh, mirrors, things like that. Yeah. There's a lot of people right now that will accuse us and say, right, you're talking about this, but can you back it up with your own evidence? And the thing is, we do have that kind of evidence. And, you know, it's how you feel when you are ghost hunting. So, for example, remember that house we went to? The poltergeist house. Oh, yeah. Right? Now, the poor old woman there was saying to us she had something happen that she can't explain. She said that a chair disappeared from one room and vanished and it reappeared mm. in another room. But the room it did appear in, the door was locked. I've only been here for a few minutes and plus, before you came in, the door was, the shut. Door was shut and locked. What happens if you were to end up going into this sort of weird space of dimensional thing or or whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> I, I treat it like Takeshi's Castle. Do you know what I mean? Because nobody, nobody wins, but you give it your all. It's just a place where you go, and if you do come back, you don't remember it anyway. Regarding the actual back rooms, the yellow walls and that sort of thing, I've actually read the instructions on what you should do, so I'll probably follow those. If it's like the ether, as it were, uh, probably not move, just probably stay where I am and hope that there's some way I can get back. Yeah, I like to believe, I, it's a personal thing for me, like, I like to believe that I'm gonna visit, I'm gonna see my loved ones again one day. Um, that, that, because if you haven't got hope, if you haven't got something to believe in in your life, what's the point in living? A lot of people, they'll watch these videos and they'll judge it straight away without watching every single video. Some people out there will go, f me, all the birds fly upside down in those videos because there's nothing worth shitting on, right? I... <laughs> <laughs> on that note, on that note, on that note, subscribe, like and share. If you enjoyed this, then, uh, you know, definitely send it off to somebody. Let us know what you think. Drop something in the comments and let us know if anything else you want us to chat about. Thank you and uh, bye.